Hello, my name is Vincent, and I'm one of the sharpeners at Corn Japanese Trading. Today, I'd like to go over some of the common mistakes that people make when they're sharpening a knife. So, one of the most common mistakes that I see that people do when they're sharpening a knife is that they're not following the bevel given to you on the knife. What I see most people do is that they're sharpening at a much steeper angle, something like this. When you do that, what you're actually doing is you're altering the bevel. You want to make sure that you don't do that and you follow the bevel given to you. And the way to do that is to feel for when that bevel is flat on the stone. A good way to do this is the three penny or two penny rule that I went over in previous videos. So as you can see, the actual bevel given is a much shallower uh, angle. That's going to allow my edge to be a much finer edge. It's going to translate into a sharper and longer lasting edge. Another common mistake is that as they're sharpening, initially they may be following the correct bevel. However, it takes a long time to sharpen a knife and people do get impatient. When they do that, they start to unconsciously sharpen at a higher and higher angle until again, in the end, they end up altering their bevel. The reason why people do this is because it gives the illusion that you're sharpening much quicker. What's actually happening is when you sharpen at a higher angle, you're able to achieve a burr much, much quicker. That gives the illusion that you're sharpening properly. However, what's going to actually happen over time is that if you sharpen at this steep angle, eventually you will not be able to restore an edge on your knife and your knife is going to be much, much duller, much quicker. As you can see in this diagram, when you sharpen at a very steep angle, you get a very short and stubby edge. This edge will not stay sharp for very long, and also it's not going to be as sharp. As you see on the second knife over here, when you sharpen at a lower angle, what happens is you get a wider bevel producing a thinner edge. This edge is going to be much sharper and also will stay sharp for longer. Another mistake that I commonly see is that you want to make sure you're moving your finger down the blade of the knife. As I mentioned before, this really allows you to control the amount of pressure being applied to the whole knife. But most people I see sharpen without moving their fingers. And when you do that, what happens is the point where your finger is at starts to wear down quicker than the rest of the knife. And when that happens, your knife is not going to be able to keep and maintain its form. And the last mistake that I see is that when people are sharpening one side and when they're done and they want to sharpen the other side, what a lot of people do is they switch hands. That's something that I don't recommend. If you're right-handed, you're going to have most control when you have your knife in your right hand. So flip the knife over instead of switching hands. That's going to allow you to really maintain the proper angle and have the maximum control in your wrist so that you can maintain and sharpen at the proper angle. I hope you find this video helpful for you today and I hope it helps you avoid common mistakes people make when they're sharpening their knives.